Hi, JNM here with a request tutorial for Substance Painter. I was asked how to paint text onto a mesh. And for this I used the project from the previous part. And I'm going to add a smart material. For example, this blue steel paint. Ok, looks good, but I want to reduce the edge wear a bit. So I go to this layer. And then to this metal edge wear generator and reduce the wear level. Ok, that's better. And now I want to show you how to add text to this mesh. I want to add this to a separate layer. We have this one and I drag this to the top of the layer stack. And then I open the alphas shelf and search for font. Ok, now we have quite a few fonts and texts. And when I select this one, for example, danger, well then we can use this as alpha and set the alignment to UV and also the flow and the opacity to 100. And then we can go ahead and kind of stamp this onto the mesh. As you know, you can change the size of the brush when you hold the control key down and use the right mouse button and then you drag and then you just left click to add the text onto the mesh. So that's nice, but as you can see, this is just a fixed image, a static image. You can't change the text. Of course, you can prepare any image you like, but there's a different method which is more dynamic and this is using a font. For example, let's try this one, a nice font. The default text is substance, but you can change the text here in the panel. So we'll change this to a text like material number, I don't know. The text is a bit too large, but we can reduce the size here in the panel so that it fits the brush. And then we can again change the size of the brush by pressing Ctrl and the right mouse button and move the mouse and then again stamp it onto the mesh. I change the orthogonal view for better matching and then left click to add the text. So you see that's pretty simple to do. The only problem I have now is that the text is clean and looks like fresh paint, no scratches or dirt. So to make it more believable, we have to add some effects like grunge or dirt to the text. So let's see what we can do. The first thing that I like to do is to add a mask, a white mask, to the layer that we used for the text. Of course, this doesn't change anything because a white mask means no masking. But we can go to the mask of the smart material to the edges and copy this. And then come back to the white mask of the first layer and paste it into this mask. Okay, that's a bit too much. I don't think we need the metal edge wear. I just want to use the crunch, so I remove this. And that's a good starting point, looks more natural. But now I want to go ahead and add a kind of dirt mask to make this text look older and kind of used or weathered. So just add a generator to this mask. And for the generator, I choose dirt. And you see this looks much better. And now we can play around with the dirt level or other properties of the generator till you found a setting that matches the material of the mesh. Ok, this looks good and as you can see this is non-destructive. This means we can always disable or remove these generators and the crunch map to come back to the original text. Alright, what I also want to do is to add a text to the other side, a different text, but I want to use the same font and the same effects. And now the orientation of the text is 180, which is fine for this side of the mesh, but when I rotate it, well, we have to rotate the brush as well. And that's also pretty simple to do. You go here to the angle of the brush and change it to zero. You can type it in or use this widget, but I want to use a different text now, so I change it to a kind of magic number and use this text to stamp it onto the mesh. And as you can see, the dirt effect and the crunch map is the same because we add it to the same layer. All right, but you can always go ahead and use a different font on the same layer and then for instance, just paint, hide information and bring it to a negative value to kind of carve the text into the mesh. I changed the text to 7 
as a tribute to Mick Thompson and the guys from Slipknot and then I just stamped this into the surface. Bam. That's it. Doing this stuff with Substance Painter is great fun and very intuitive. So if you like this tutorial and my channel then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions about this tutorial or other videos then add these to the comments. You can follow me on my Instagram, on Twitter or Facebook and you can support me by being my patron. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you on JNM.